talking about connecting the Atlas Pro control system on the 604 Premium Baylor to a tractor today. The Atlas Pro control system consists of the Atlas Pro monitor, which is gonna, we're gonna mount in the cab of this tractor, and also the ECU or the electronic control unit that's on the baler. The first step then is to identify the power source on the tractor, which we wanna go straight to the battery because we need a 12 volt source. And it's important to have a good electrical source to run all the actuators and things that we need to do on this 604R Premium. So step number one here, we've got two harnesses. We've got one that is the power source to the net lift system, which is part of the 604R Premium Baylor. And then we also have the harness to the monitor. So you can see we've got our fuse here, our red cable that goes to the positive side of the battery, and the black cable that goes to the negative side. So step one will be to connect these cables. So we've got our cables coming here to the battery, and both the red cable from the monitor and the red cable from the net hoist are gonna be tightened and connected to the positive side of the battery. And we wanna make sure we get these really good and tight and that this connection is clean. And then the black cables from both the monitor and the net hoist are here on the negative side of the battery. And same thing here, we wanna make sure this connection is tight. And we're ready to go to the next step. So we're here in the cab of the tractor and we're ready to mount the Atlas Pro monitor in the cab. We've got our power source here, which is the tractor harness coming from the battery. And you can see we've got the plug that fits right into the back of the monitor here. And so we're gonna push that in snug and tight and we should have power to the monitor. And you can see the Vermeer logo coming on and this monitor is starting to boot up. So we're good with power. The next step then is to take and insert the ball on the back of the monitor into this socket. And this ram swivel mount gives us adaptability and flexibility in the way this monitor is mounted, making it most effective to use. So we insert the ball and get it to the position we want. And we tighten it up here in the back and we're ready to go. So you'll see that even after we've plugged the power harness into the back of the monitor, and the monitor has come on, it will not go to the home screen until we've plugged the baler harness into the monitor. So we've got two things left to do here in the final step of connecting the baler to the tractor and getting our Atlas Pro monitor completely connected. You can see that we've got the cable coming from the baler and we've got our cable coming from the monitor. These two ends plug together and you'll see that there is a slot on the end from the monitor and also a groove from the end on the baiter that match up. We line those two up, we twist this collar until it locks in place, and now we're connected. The other thing we've gotta do is connect our power source from the battery to the net hoist in the back, and that's just this plug here. And we push these together until we hear it click, and we're ready to go. We're in the cab and we've now completed connecting the Atlas Pro control system to our 604 premium baiter. We've got our power source from the battery to the back of the monitor, and we've also got a power source for the net hoist on the baiter. You can see that we've got it booted up and it's mounted so that we can see it and use it. And also we've got the baiter plugged into the monitor harness, which now shows us here on the baiter home screen.